Hi, welcome back to Tony's British English. Now today, what we're going to look at is something very important in every culture in the world. Now this is sounding interested. Now imagine if you talk to your friend or your boss or anybody and they looked at you like this. You'd soon stop talking because they're not helping with the conversation. They're not continuing the conversation. So what we need to do is sound interested. To sound not interested is a bit rude. If you don't like that person, you say nothing. Now, how do we sound interested when someone is talking in English? It's easy. All you have to do is repeat the auxiliary verb. Huh? What's an auxiliary verb? Well, an auxiliary verb makes a tense. Ask, you can ask a question with it and you can give a yes, no answer to it. Number one. So we have auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs. What are the auxiliary verbs? Well, it's easy. The verb to be. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. Are. Past tense. I was, you were. He was, she was, it was. We were, they were. Now, that's the verb to be. Now, verb to be is an auxiliary verb. Next one is have. We use have to make the present perfect. I have been to France. Have. It's helping make the tense. Next up is do. Now, do is a bit weird because do doesn't make a tense, but it is used like an auxiliary verb. I do, you do, he does. I did, you did, he did. Easy. The next one is will. Now, will is an auxiliary verb because we form the future with it. I will, you will, he will. Doesn't change. Right, okay. When we want to sound interested, we invert the auxiliary with its subject. So we say, oh God, I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. I am. I am verb to be. I am so exhausted. Sound interested. <gasps> really? Are you? Are you? So, I am is the verb to be. Are you is the verb to be. I am repeating it. But because the subject has changed, I to you, then the verb changes as well. I'm so tired. Are you? Really? My neck is really hurting. Is it? <gasps> Why? I've lost my keys. Have you? I've lost my keys. I have lost my keys. Have is the auxiliary verb. Have you? Have you? So, we repeat the auxiliary verb when we want to sound interested. And we invert it. Bam. I haven't got any money. Haven't you? I have not got. I haven't got. I haven't got any money. Haven't you? Oh dear. I've had 
a really energetic weekend. I've had a really energetic weekend. Have you? Really? Where did you go? What did you do? Now, one small thing. The verb to have. Now, have can be used in two different ways. One, we can use it to make a tense. I have been to America. But we can also use it as a collocation. Collocation. A collocation. I have had a bath. I have had a bath. So, bath, we have a bath. We have a good weekend. We have a shower. Those collocate. So, one is just a normal verb. The other is an auxiliary verb. So, we can have two working together. I have had a bath. Have you? I have a big swimming pool now. Because have is not an auxiliary verb, we don't need to repeat it. I have a big car. Do you? I have a large swimming pool. Do you? So I don't need to repeat have because have there is used as a normal verb. Cool. Now let's practice. I've just come back from London. Really? Have you? My car's out of action. Is it? Oh dear. Take it to the garage. Oh, I had an awful night last night. Nightmares. Did you? Dear. What did you dream about? Etc. Etc. Now, let's put this to the test. I'm going to ask Bob a few questions. And although Bob is a little bit boring, I'm going to sound interested and see how Bob reacts. Okay, ready? Good. Hello, Bob. How are you? Very well, thank you. I bought a new car. Really? Have you? I'm getting married. Are you? <gasps> really? I had a wife before. Mm. Had you? We were in love. Were you? You see, I'm sounding interested. Now, we can also use can or modal verbs to sound interested. So we can say, would you? Or can you? Or should you? Or might you? Or may you? Kind of. <laughs> we don't use may. Never mind. Okay, so I might have a bath tonight. Might you? I would give you half of all the money I had. Would you? So again, we're repeating the modal verb this time, inverting it to sound interested. Okay, now as you can see, I'm sounding interested and Bob wants to continue the conversation. Don't forget, we repeat the auxiliary verb. What is an auxiliary verb? Well, have, the verb to be, will, do. Also, we can use modal verbs. Should, would, can, could, might, shall. These are all verbs we can repeat to sound interested. I'm English. Are you? 
If I won a million pounds, I would give you half. Would you? Thanks. <laughs> okay, thank you very much indeed. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Tony's British English. And also, thank you very much for your subscriptions. See you. Bye. Bye.